Uh, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of The Sovereignty of Scotland. Well, we're still alive, even though I'm betting the British wish we weren't. And let us go back to the game where I am slowly building up my own... Alright, they're gonna go right there, so... Well, I'm slowly building up my own little fleet over here, so that we can start bringing in more money and start getting us more stuff to do. Alright, wait, 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 stop right there. Yeah, go combine. And, yeah. Basically what we're doing, people, is we're trying our best to make sure that our home node is protected. And hopefully we're finally winning our home node. I think we're winning. Yes! We just started winning our home node, which is great news for us. Um, doesn't mean we're actually, like, winning too, too much, but it means we're winning something. So, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> uh, and anyways, people, we're back. We're back in this where I'm going to apparently solidify paper relationships because that's a good event right there, solidifying paper relationships. And having the Pope like you is a good is a good thing to have. Although also these are like wow. Just everyone is like invested into everyone. I'll just kinda try, but I don't think I'm gonna get anyone in the papal seat anytime soon. So yeah, anyways, people, last episode, as you guys know, we finally repaid back all of our loans. We're finally going to get some militaristic or some advisors so that maybe we can start like, ooh, 20%, that wouldn't be quite enough. Uh, 75, no, even if I combine it with the other guy, it wouldn't be quite enough. But get some trade efficiency. And yeah, what we're going to start trying to do is get some military, we're going to try to at least keep one advisor in our little pot here so that we can make sure that we don't like, you know, forget about it. Because we really don't want to forget about any of this. We don't want to forget about any of the stuff that happens. And we don't want to forget about all the stuff that could potentially go wrong. So for that matter, we want to make sure that we have advisors here to keep us sane and calm and collective. And make sure that we have a very gallant future in EU4. You know, I'll take, I'll take a little bit of inflation. I mean, it's not like we have that much right now. So, hmm, I'm fine with that. Plus, we also need to kind of advance this, because 50 clone. see, we're both going to, it doesn't matter whichever one we do. Um, I think the wiser choice is just to wait until, because I'm thinking we're both going to have to get this colonial range to go all the way over here. Um, because we're going to have to beat the British, of course, because if we don't beat the British, then the British are going to colonize it themselves, and that will be annoying. But, and then the wars will be annoying too. So, we're just going to... My king, France has declared war upon the enemy of Utrecht. Man, Utrecht, you guys just do not have a good day, do you? And, of course, I got called it. Okay. Well, then, let's see. It's Molster, Saxony, uh, Bavaria, Frankfurt, the Hansa. Well, the only people I would really want to fight right now is the Hansa. If we could destroy the Hansa... That would probably be the greatest thing in the world. Everyone else I really... Uh, kind of don't care about? <laughs> I mean... Let's see. I'm at war with who again? Just so I kind of get a good idea. There's a Saxony blob. The Hansa. Okay. What I'm basically going to do is just wait until the British... Well, not the British. The French clear out all of the land. I'm going to make like two ships down here. And what we're going to do is just going to casually try to go siege up like one province and go see if we can go steal it. Because we want to make sure that, that, the, that if we're going to go to war, we always keep expanding. Even if it's just like a quick expansion, it's an expansion nonetheless. Let's see, 50. Now, we're going to wait. We're going to wait until we get the next technology. So, let's see. You guys are ready to be added to the new, to our little army over here. Hopefully, we won't have a Hansa-like fleet just come out of nowhere and destroy every one of my ships. That would really stink. That would really stink, but okay. Let's get back to over here. It looks like the Hansa have actually raised up a pretty decent amount of army, and it looks like the French are actually having a little difficulty. Um, Yeah, that's actually a decent amount of army. Come on! Let's go, friends! Friends, let's go! Don't be questioned by them! It'd be really sad if you lost to them. Like, no joke. It'd be really sad if you lost to them, France. Oh, okay. Oh, man. I was hoping I could maybe get Utrecht out of this. Apparently, I can't. Okay. Um, Molster's also out of the question. Uh, Bavaria. 
the only people I could possibly steal one ter one territory from is the Hanza. But I'm gonna have to wait until the Hanza have basically exhausted all of their the army on you know fruitless things and then go in and go steal it. Hopefully and hopefully France will be like, yeah, you know what? Even though Scotland's all the way to the north and they probably didn't help us that much, they totally deserve a, a province. So, ooh. Am I giving subsidies still? Oh, wow, I still got subsidies. Okay, um, raise wartime taxes. Yeah, raise wartime taxes. Okay, so, but yeah, we just have to, I'm thinking we're going to steal, like, one of these little provinces right over here. Like... You know, it would be nice if we could get, like, a province of, like, Bremen or Stalin or not the Stad, I mean. And basically use that as an opportunity to start expanding into the actual, like, other parts of Europe. I mean, it may not be, we may not have England yet, but at least we have something. Which is what we need to start doing. We need to start establishing ourselves in the rest of Europe. Yay! We got something! Achieve religious unity! Oh my goodness, I wish we could do that too. Uh, Papal Influence, oh wow, we formed desires so high in almost every one of my provinces, it's really crazy. Okay, now let's see, England is still Catholic. I'm surprised England is Catholic. I'm also surprised that the French might lose this. Come on, France. France, you guys are my heroes, don't lose. Don't lose, France, don't lose. Okay, um... Let's see, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little talk before I go. Okay, um Pope, come back here. Wait, 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 wait. Get, get you guys out of get you guys out of the stream because I don't want you guys to Oh wait, oh wait, Francis. France has a protective army over here. I thought I thought they were all by themselves and they were like could get killed by that one bow. I was getting really worried there for a second. Okay. So Yorkshire, we're gonna attack you. We're gonna get those religious Protestants out of the country. We're also going to get the national decision of achieve religious unity. That way I can get some prestige and some legitimacy to the throne again. And maybe get some respect back to us. Because I know not many people respect us very much. I, I, I know, I know. It's weird to think of that, you know, our nation of Scotland is not very well respected. But it isn't and it kind of annoys me. So, we're going to transfer our three units right here. Friesland is off a of military alliance. Good. And we're going to... Basically, wait this war out. Oh, shoot, wait a minute. Actually, that was completely pointless. You know why? Because I just remember that you can land basically anywhere because this is the uh, Holy Woman Emperor we're fighting. Oh, shoot, that was completely and utterly useless. Um, shoot. Um, <laughs> shoot. I, I have nothing else to say, but shoot. Oh. That makes me feel so mad. Also, you know what, then I'm just gonna go hang out with France over here in Utrecht. That way I can maybe help him out a little bit. Get him to like, defend a little bit better. I don't know, it makes me feel good if I go help France. Because I realize there's a big scary death, there's a big scary army right over there and there's not much that's really stopping it. Okay, like, France, Molster has basically declared that they don't, oh shoot, they're coming after me. Okay, we're gonna go this way, we're gonna go this way, and we're gonna go this way. There we go. I don't want to fight that evil, evil army. Oh. Well, then I'm over here too. Okay. So, let's see. We're now starting to win this, which is good. And, um... France is still kind of losing it to the rest of the European... Well, the rest of the, like, German states over here. We're just kind of chilling out in Brunswick, you know, not really doing, just doing our thing, you know, not really trying to be, like, overly anything, just kind of chilling out, just kind of chilling, and it looks like the French have finally gotten themselves somewhat, oh, shoot, um, run as far, okay, go this way, run as far, oh, no, I was trying to escape this, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. May 18th. We're not gonna make it. Wait, somehow I made it. Well, shoot. When are you guys gonna arrive the 25th? Oh, you guys aren't gonna make it. Okay, going all the way to Normandy. This is always my retreat. Where are you guys going? You're going one province over. You idiots! What the heck? 
You know what? I'm just gonna say my troops were idiots because that was one of the stupidest moves I've ever seen. I told you guys to go all the way to your to Normandy. That way you guys would be protected. But then you guys decided to go all the way to there, which makes no sense. Like that was a complete another doofus move, guys. Like complete another doofus. Well, what that basically means is that we're probably not gonna be able to get any kind of land grants in this, like ep we're probably not gonna get any land in this because, like, we can't even land troops on the continent. I mean, we could actually go send our actual decent. Ar you know what? What? I was about to say we could actually go send a decent army there, but that'd be so stupid. Who would ever do that? But then I'm like, you know, why don't we go send a decent army over there? That actually sounds like a good idea. Okay, and then okay, so we're so close, we're so close. Okay, so if we combine, if we combine this with our special ability from next turn, our next diplomatic influence, and then we probably get that colonial range guy, we could pop, we could possibly make it there and finally get our colonies up and running. Let's see. Let's just start like loading our troops up, going right here to Calais. We'll start fighting this very slowly. Hopefully we won't have too many rebellions. That's kind of what I'm worrying about right now, but we've had, you know, we've had a stable realm for the most part. I mean, not as many people hate us as they used to in the olden days. Alright. Which is good. I'm, I'm loving the fact that not many people hate us as much. And gonna leave some troops there just in case the religious zealousy gets too out of hand. Um, nine troops should be about as much as we need to go and do whatever we need to do to go conquer whatever we need to. So, yeah. Oh, friends! Really? Really? Okay, I'm gonna go take Hamburg. No one take Hamburg. That's mine. All right, it's totally mine. Oh, the Hansa just peace out. Oh, the Hansa just peace out. <sighs> then that means I'm fighting the uh, Saxony army. That's actually good because I want to see how good our troops are compared to them. It, our troops are not very good. All right, we're gonna lose this. Oh, never mind. We're gonna destroy the Saxon army. Watch this. Boom. Okay. And we still lost to a Bavarian army. Probably. The Bavaria is not as well keen. We're probably still going to lose. Yep. But at least this time we did not die. So, lessons learned again. Do not repeat. Do not try to go join a European war. It's not very successful for us. It's not what we do. Let's just go back to our good land of Scotland. Okay. And just completely ignore this war ever happened. Yes. I think that's a good plan of action. Utrecht has now become officially French court, and that means we still need access. Uh, France, you know, just just go to just go to these guys. We have access to you. Okay, okay, go split up. There we go. Okay, seems like the game wants to be just that kind of game right now. And there we go, everyone. That was our assistance in trying to help the, I guess, war for. Utrecht, poor, you know, France, you're just dooming yourself later when, like, Netherlands is going to try to form. Like, seriously, that's going to doom you. And by the way, we also have a we also have a scary England that's now going to probably be looking at us and being like, hoo, 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 they are so weak right now, we should totally attack them. I'm going to be like, no, no, you should totally not attack us. We're still strong in some ways, but we are weak in others. Okay. Oh my goodness, I want to embrace this so badly, but we still... I'll embrace it after we have a little bit more time to do it. And let's see, how's our Austrian relationships? Let's improve them, because we want to make sure that Austria just loves us as much as everyone else does. And not full, let's not go full. Okay, let's go about half. Let's see, reinforcement still causes a lot. Okay, half is good. Transfer trade power, that's good. And let's see, let's just go half. We should be good. And now transfer trade power over with. They're like, yeah, we did it, but now we don't want to do it anymore. It was fine for like a like a week, and then we just got lost it, and then yada yada. And let's see. Yorkshire is about to be converted back to the love of old religion of Catholicism. I can't wait till that happens. Uh 
Francis still hasn't destroyed. I think they're starting to destroy a lot of their like, like rebels though. I mean, not rebels. They're like reform process. Reformed. Like I'm starting to see less and less, which is becoming nice. I mean, the only Protestants that we really have to deal with are over here, like over here in this region, and nothing, nothing really down here. Okay, the Elude Alliance. Good relation. We have. We will have nothing to do. Oh shoot! Yeah, is this? <laughs> we we knew the loot as a counterbalance to England's involvement in anti French. Oh yeah, seriously, go, go England. I don't care about you. You're gonna be. I'm gonna conquer you eventually. But for right now, you guys stay alive because of my. Well, in fact, I'm not very strong right now. Once I become strong, though, we'll have a good talk. Trust me, England. We'll have a good talk about your independence. Okay. Right now, I just kind of can't deal with it. And let's see, we're about to reinforce everyone to the full utmost. Okay. Let's see, you guys going to reform? Interesting. Grand Captain. That's good. And let's see, we're still not making that much money. What the heck just happened to our expenses? Okay, trade. 1.79. 22% comes from actual taxes. I expected that much. And let's see, we have no loans. Oh, we have one loan. You gotta be kidding me. And it's probably because of this advisor I'm gonna kick him out. Yay, we're making money again. Yeah, let's just keep making one ducat a turn. And there we go. Religious turmoil ended for you guys. Good job for you. Oh, I know why. I'm such an idiot. I know why we're having some difficulties because of missionary maintenance. Yes, because we have to convert people now. That's causing us difficulties. Well, Yorkshire was probably the most difficult province to convert. Once it's gone, it'll give us seven base tax fully, which will be nice. And then we will have, like, you know, end of, like, autonomy or tolerance. Tolerance, tax efficiency is not very good, and tolerance isn't very good either. So, once we get past all these things, we'll be good. We'll be definitely very good. Alright, let's finally get our military upgraded a little bit. Get the Colvin and the Petrello. Get the Savin. Let's get the Petrello. And there we go. We have a, somewhat of a modern army right now. That's really nice. That is really nice to see. And let's see. We will be transferring... Tra Can you guys just stop being so hot and cold right now? Yay! Oh my goodness, that like was... What province? We just have to convert what province? And so far, the end of religious turmoil. Oh my goodness. Thank the... Thank you, God, for the lovely countenance of being no more longer entitled to having to deal with all these rebels. Oh my goodness. And now our revolt risk could be just nice. Oh, that's so nice. That is so nice right there. Having that revolt risk almost completely down. And we have stability plus three. Oh, man, that's so awesome. Okay, I feel slightly better now. If it, This feels like a slightly better campaign. Now that we got a couple of these things paid off and a couple of these things working out, we have somewhat good money being made. Somewhat good money. That's pretty good. Uh, we Should we build another, like, fleet? Another caravan? Yeah, let's build another caravan. Let's build a modern-day ship. In other words, are we still making the dough here? Now nah, we're starting to get a lot. We're starting to lose it a little bit due to Denmark. It's also because of Hansa trying to get a good trade in, which annoys me a little bit. But we almost got it. I think almost, and we're almost ready to go start colonizing too, which is nice. Okay, once we add, yeah, we should have enough. Let me make sure that guy's still there, though. Let me make sure that guy's still there. Oh. He's expensive. Okay, so he costs a hundred and fifteen dollars for Ducats, and you know what? I'm gonna repay back our loans before I go start thinking about any of that. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh! Let's get the money. Let's get the money. Pay back all the loans. Yes. Okay. Now we got all the loans paid off. Now we can start dealing with other things such as money. And if religious turmoil, that means France is officially completely united. Almost all their land again. They're staying, they're staying Catholic, which is good. Uh, somehow, these guys became... I wonder if England's actually going to go reformed in this. This will be really interesting to see. 
I think though they're actually going to be starting to fight back, but I would actually love to see it like we formed England. And I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been another good episode, and I'll see you guys next time.